Policy restrictions, including exclusions, limitations, and narrow exclusions, play a crucial role in defining the scope of coverage provided by an insurance policy. Understanding these terms is vital for policyholders to grasp the extent of protection offered and to identify any potential gaps in coverage. Hello, my name is Amanda Yanis, and this is the Conklin Blog. Exclusions are specific scenarios or types of losses explicitly stated in the policy language that are not covered under the insurance policy. These exclusions serve as exceptions to the general coverage being provided. Here are some examples. Floods. Many standard property insurance policies exclude coverage for damages caused by flooding. Policyholders in flood-prone areas need to purchase separate flood insurance to protect against this risk. Mold. Some policies exclude coverage for mold damages, particularly if it is a result of long-term neglect or maintenance issues. Pre-existing damage. Damage that existed prior to the policy's effective date is typically excluded from coverage. Policyholders should review exclusions carefully and consider obtaining supplemental coverage for any risk not covered by their primary policy. Policy limitations operate in a slightly different way. A limitation may stop coverage for a certain period of time or impose a restriction on the amount of coverage that can be applied to certain circumstances. Here are a couple of examples. Temporary limitations. A policy may include temporary limitations such as a waiting period before coverage becomes effective for certain types of claims. For instance, if you purchase earthquake insurance immediately following a sizable earthquake, there may be a delay of several days before coverage goes into effect. Coverage caps. Some policies impose limitations on the maximum amount of payables for certain types of losses. For example, a homeowner's insurance policy may have a coverage cap for jewelry or fine art. Policyholders should carefully review any limitations within their policy to understand their implications and consider whether additional coverage may be necessary to address potential gaps. Narrow exclusions are specific exclusions that are narrowly defined to exclude coverage for specific circumstances while still providing coverage for similar risks under different conditions. These exclusions often require careful interpretation to understand their scope. For example, a narrow exclusion might be failure to maintain and gradual damage exclusion. Some insurance policies exclude coverage for damages resulting from wear and tear or gradual deterioration, but provide coverage for sudden and accidental incidents. For instance, a homeowner's insurance policy might exclude coverage for a leaky roof due to wear and tear, but cover damages resulting from a sudden storm. Policyholders should pay close attention to narrow exclusions and seek clarification from their insurer if needed to ensure they are fully understanding the extent of coverage provided. Policy exclusions, limitations, and narrow exclusions are essential components of insurance contracts that define the boundaries of coverage. Policyholders should review these restrictions carefully, assess their individual risk exposure, and consider obtaining supplemental coverage if necessary to safeguard against uncovered risks.